Hi guys, welcome to Cloud Viral with Pokoli. I'm in the house today. I got my big brothers and earth housemates of Big Brother. In the house I have Leo Da Silva and Crux Down so, Bus. I'm the only housemate yeah. that never got nominated throughout the whole Big Brother history. Forget about Big Brother fans, like the fans that you think you have. Yeah. What you need to have are loyal people that support your brand. Yeah. Because Big Brother fans will go back to the platform of course, and pick another fan. You're good. I never told my Just introduce yourself. I'm not meant to even introduce you. <laughs> <laughs> away. My brother. Um, yeah, well, you already know it's cross the bus out here. I'm um, uh, Oga. I'm for now. Who be Oga? Who be Oga? Yeah, nah, I'm for Oga now. Person with name na boss. The yeah, boss. Ah, <laughs> no, how? Fun fact. Fun fact. You've always been uh, my boss now. Back uh, in high school, now you were my boss now. Oh yeah. You exactly. Don't let, don't let, don't let, be on the line. Don't let her introduce himself before. Uh, yeah. So Leo, let's 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 go. Yo, it's your boy Leo da Silva, superstar businessman. You know what it is. <laughs> so guys, you're welcome to Cloud Viral. Let me introduce myself too. It's your boy for Kali, you already know. Genge, superstar, superstar dancer, number Fuck one, on. number one. Yeah. Number one. Yeah. Let me help you. Yeah, I'm a, calm down, I'm a. Make a, make a, make a, make a. My head on is so small. Mm. You're welcome to Clavier, my brothers. Thank, thank you for yeah, having you. us. Thank yeah, you, yeah, thank yeah, you. You're thank welcome. You. So we're going straight into it. Okay. Real life P. Yeah, 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 yeah. What I'm saying, what I'm yeah, saying. So my first question for for today is, uh, did you expect the kind of celebrity boost Big Brother gave you guys? Um, for mm. me, no, because um, Big Brother was not as big as it is now. Okay. You understand? So I remember when we were signing our contracts, then, you know, Big Brother had, had a viewership in Africa of yeah. about 16 million. I know right now it's probably times 100 of that, yeah. you know, so I didn't expect it. You know, I never expected it. I just felt like, okay, since I'm just going to be a business person, yeah. I'll probably be on like maybe 20,000 followers or 30,000 at the time. Yeah. But <laughs> now it's massive, man. I can't yeah. even imagine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So the, 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 this thing, it didn't give you that, that much celebrity, that um, much celebrity boost, or it actually gave you? It gave me too much. Too many. More than I ever So let's, let's compare like, uh, you did it like recently. Do you think you get like more followers than before? Yeah, of course, I'll get more followers than before because... Yeah. More people are online now than, than, then, than yeah. then, so it's just what it is. But even with that, uh, even the new fans are still following us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because know. now Leo is fresh now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You got the physique. You see everything. Yeah. It's going. It's going. It and I must say, you look like Fali Popa, You know, I don't know if you've got that before. What mm -hmm. I've gotten is John Dumelo. Nah, for me it's Fali Popa. You know Fali uh, Popa now. I know Fali. Do you know how to move your waist? No, I don't. Uh, okay, that's the difference. <laughs> 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 Yo, cool. So, um, cross the boss. You have boss in your name already. So. You're welcome, boss. Oh, God, thank yeah. you. Yeah. So, thank did you expect like the celebrity um, boost <coughs> people that gave you? Honestly, um, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. If I'm you never honest. expected it. I never expected it. I think, because I think he, he didn't expect as much. Yes, I, I didn't expect as much oh. because I won't like to. He literally chokes because there are some things like. Because I'm a normal guy, like like I'm a normal guy, yeah. like I just be normally. I did hustle, guy, have fun, banter, I just enjoy life <laughs> normally, normal. normal. So, in, and I go enter place. Nobody go to know, not to know. Yeah, like private life. But, private yeah. life. But almost as this past year, yeah. the thing where big brother I don't do, sha, I won't lie to you. <laughs> it's no, kind of crazy yeah. because yeah. I'm always an outsider. You understand? I've never, I was not a kind of person that stays indoor. Yeah. Throughout my life, uh, since I was a kid, from England to Wales to wherever I've been to, I always go outside every weekend, sometimes, or every week. Do you yeah. understand? So I'm always used to seeing things outside and seeing how people react to me, people talk and see things. Yeah. Now, going outside now, it's so different. It's so totally, to, to, totally different. different so I, I can tell you that, yes, for a fact that, yeah, I didn't expect how deep the thing was going to be. It kind of feels a little bit strange sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm well, you're enjoying it. Yeah, I'm enjoying of it. Course. Yeah. yeah. So um, the next one is um, Leo Crux. Did the show actually give you money? 
as in like the platform did he yeah. give you money yeah, or like the platform are you itself. saying like the platform he gave us did yeah. he use is the it, platform to make money exactly like in that space like the, the show like okay let me, of let, me, course let, me now. let me let me say the platform the show itself yeah. did he give you money aside the platform so yeah i won like task on the show so okay. definitely i got cash down immediately i came out of the house okay so know. aside the, the, the um the house money and the yeah. tax money and everything so the platform so far the platform so far of course uh, um, i think january will be five years and i can tell you that my rate card has been increasing yearly normally if the platform or if i was not still yeah if i was not um bouncing off that platform and making things happen yeah my rate card should be reducing but it's been increasing yearly 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 yeah. because the influence has been increasing and it's all thanks to the fact that I went on a show and yeah. I was there for like, I think six weeks, you know. Good. So yeah, it was it was really good for me. Yeah, I feel that. Cracks. Does it make make us money? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Now Leo yeah. said it now. Boost now. I want a lot of money yeah. coming out, c coming out. C Come on, yes, it did. The money choose. The money choose. They have more sponsors mm, now, yeah. so of course, coming out. <laughs> if you play your game right, yeah, you should be coming yeah, out with double was, figures. Yeah, it was good. It was very good. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So, um, is there a point in time you feel like some kind of pressure if um, other housemates or probably the ones in your set are doing probably more than um, better than you? Do you feel some kind of pressure that you're lagging behind or something like that? Uh, so realistically, nobody knows how well I'm doing. Okay. Realistically, True. so True. Um, I really don't care what anyone is doing. doing. You understand? I am just always happy when people are doing well. I just always hope it's not audio. You know, that's just what I always you know say to <laughs> myself. Because I, I feel like in Nigeria, Nigeria is too hard for you to be audioing yourself in, mm. away from blessings. Exactly. You know, when people feel like you can afford to buy three houses. The person that wants to even give you the real house will not come forward. Yeah. You know, so that's just what I think. But yeah, uh, it is what it is now. Now social media, but I don't feel that kind of pressure. I'm a businessman. I'm not yeah. in the social media space yes, like yeah, that. Like I feel you. Mm. Well, pretty much <laughs> what he said exactly. Leo, Leo is a cancer, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. pretty much have the same ideology most times. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really, 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 really care because I'm a, my own wahala with mm -hmm. that too. <laughs> you know, <'cause> I <laughs> do <your> <laughs> <way>. <laughs> I mean, you do you, man. Yeah, 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 I, be, man. I be, I be, I be, I be good. Like you do you, I do myself. Like whether you, be, you get ten billion, then one zillion. Yeah. Like, yeah. That one yeah, like yeah, for yeah, your pocket. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Congratulations. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Happy for you. <laughs> I do okay. All the best. <laughs> All the best. I'll yeah, see you at the so other side. You know, so far I'm not out there begging yeah, anybody. Yeah, exactly. You're doing your thing yourself. Exactly. exactly. So you do you, man. Yeah. So the, you. the beefs online and stuff like that, are they actually real or for publicity? Beefs between who and who? It depends. Like the housemates? Yeah. Yes, yeah. now. So of yeah. course, some of them are. Uh -uh, of very course, real. now. Yes, now. Uh -uh. Yeah. Boost. <laughs> Boost. Definitely. Very, very real. 100%. Why so not? So, see, when I came out of the house, yeah. Yeah, there was already a lot of beef between. And the crazy thing is, a lot of these people, you come out of the house to people you don't know, and immediately you're taking advice from them. Yes. So one thing someone told me when they came for my birthday, because my birthday was in July 10, and the person was like, how come a lot of like Big Brother's um, people are not here? And I told him, because before Big Brother, I had a life. I literally was in the house for six weeks. Do you expect me to, all my friends, to only be people that I met six weeks? I had a life, like I had people. I told you to come, you remember you were yeah, in Abuja? I was in Abuja, I was going to yeah, yeah, these are people that I've known yeah, way before me. then. Yeah. So my life is not just like that. But ah, beef deal, hmm? yeah. if I can't lie to you, there's always, I don't want to mention names, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see, I don't, I, don't, I don't go, I remember one time I go record one thing for st one studio, we go one interview. Yeah. As I go there, this babe just come out. Now big brother person. I call him. I say, ah, chief, how far now? He just look me. <laughs> Damn. And I just they look, say, what? I couldn't reason. Damn. What, what did that, that you do, do? Like, what did I do? This chick mad. <laughs> then I can't reason him. Is it because this chick wanted to stay in my room one day, but my guys were there? Yeah. You know, I can't reason him. You know, but 
it, nothing made sense. Still. Nothing made sense. Even till date, it didn't make any sense. But me, you know, even if you snub me, it is what it is. It doesn't it doesn't stop me from so, being Leo that's over. Exactly. I could just do my own, that's all. <laughs> they jelly. Yeah, cross. Yeah. They actually will be. Yeah, they're real. Like they they, they shoot them shots. You know, yeah, you know, bulletproof <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay guided. Stay so, guided, stay protected, stay protected. Like, you know. Keep yourself guarded. Yeah, I feel that's you. that's pretty much it, man. Like, cause yeah, you shoot them shots. Earlier, so I love the one thing I've noticed and about you is your confidence, a level of yeah. confidence. Like, I actually admire it. So, do you feel satisfied with the level you are now? Yeah, I'm. I'm satisfied for my age, because I, I like the fact that you said confidence. Because the first thing Ibuka's impression about me when yeah. I came into the house was arrogance. And I feel like there's a thin line between confidence and arrogance. arrogance yeah. You know, I, I'm very confident. So it's only when people get close to me that they understand it's confidence, it's not arrogance. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason why I'm confident is because I, just like I was telling Cross that I had very strong spiritual people around me, like my mom. My mom would tell me, you're going to be this, you're going to be that, and everything comes to fruition. You, you get what I'm saying? Mm. So I, I go head on into tasks knowing that I am going to get it. Exactly. You get. Yeah. So at the moment, um, okay, right now I'm working with Nivea. This year I work with Techno as well. And, you know, uh, for social media wise, good. You know, like yeah. with my brand. My brand has stayed relevant from Big Brother for almost five years, just spending six weeks in the house. So I really love that. Yeah. Then I've never acted, I've never sang any song. All I, all I just am is a working class businessman. Right that has clout yes. and is professionally fine, you know. So that is what has, I've, I've had going for me for these years. Tell them. You then, already know. <laughs> <laughs> then, um, <clears throat> yeah, you know, um, I'm satisfied with that. Then in my personal life, yeah. very satisfied, extremely satisfied. Business-wise, very satisfied because I can't lie to you, I was, I was neck in debt for like three years because I, I run a private equity firm and in a month before my birthday, I paid off all of my debts. Mm. Hundreds of millions. <laughs> so it's not easy. It's not easy. Bro, when never, when never. you when you have zero debt, trust me, you don't get any kind of satisfaction we person yeah, exactly. won't breathe. Like yeah. that rest so hundred percent I'm sleeping well, better yeah, now. Definitely. No more anxiety like I used to have. Sometimes I'll just wake up like she had a go cuts today. Mm -hmm. you know, but now none of that, like shit, everything shit, is shit. Man, man, and, you know, a lot of people man. did these kind of investments yeah, and yeah. You see husband and wife, they don't jago UK. Yeah. But I made sure that I cleared all of that. And yeah. it's COVID that really affected. Not like I took the money and spent it. So. Yeah. Sometimes so, things yeah. happen in life that you cannot really, really control it. Speaking about the financial terms, because yeah. I love finance as well. I'm into the financial industry. So I know that there's some situations <coughs> that it, abo it, it sometimes it handles you yes. that you cannot control it. That At you're all. like, fuck. Mm -hmm. It's just see fifty thousand dollars gone, yeah. hundred thousand dollars gone, and you're like, and it's people's money. And you're like, yes. ah, this one has happened. It's financial market, so I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, so it's, it's okay. It's um, so equity investments for yeah. me was like the thing I started after the house. Before I I was boxing myself into just real estate, yeah. but I discovered that my passion was not just for real estate. My passion was for money. So I needed <laughs> I needed something that could bring more money. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So being like there is no particular big project that happens in Nigeria that does not come to my table. Because now we they bring dollars inside. Right. You get now we now we they bring the investors inside. So for me, I'm very, very content with that line of work. Very, very content. Oko. I don't box myself in. Nice. <laughs> After this one, Leo go. Go yeah. with him. <laughs> <laughs> to my voice. <laughs> 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 guy. No, uh, leave out. <laughs> so, Crux, you have to answer us, though. About you satisfied? What? Of course, not, I am now. I'm satisfied about you like know, the level you are now in life. Yeah. Um, I won't say I'm satisfied, you know, because honestly, um, there's still a lot to achieve to yeah. me, and there's still a lot to go. To me, I've always, I've, in life, I've always known that I was, a, I was, a, I was, a good, I was always going to be a baby boy. <laughs> baby boy for life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. always going to be a baby boy. Yeah, I already knew that, you know, since I was a child. Yeah. And I've always loved making myself get to a certain space in life that I know that 
no matter what happens in life, yes. I would be good. 100. So I've put things in place so that last, last, mm -hmm. if this uh, world was scatter, anything will happen, mm -hmm. say cross good, they okay. Yeah. So that's why I don't carry too much on my head yeah. that I know that I cannot handle. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I'm good no matter what happens. Whatever I want to do, I'm good. So I've yeah. set that in place. So now it's not left for me now to now say, okay, that have set into place. Now let me now go for whatever I want to go for in life now and achieve whatever dreams or goals I've set myself to achieve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I see it now. So in that manner now, I'm just going. So Big Brother really helped and played a major role in that. Yeah. And like, you know what? Cross came into the house. And funny enough, I was in Tasha's house um, yesterday and we look on, on Tasha. We're all gisting and playing and having fun. So some of our friends were around and we're all gisting. And one of the friends said that she, he's really, really a big fan of me, right? But Cross, you came into the house half of the show. And I started laughing <laughs> because a lot of people tell me that. And I keep asking, and I was like, so you think I came into the show half of the sh half of the yeah. show? He was like, yeah. He was like, no. I came in at the beginning of the show. I was the first. I was the last person to enter the show, but I came in the first day. Yeah. He was like, no, that's not possible. I was like, yeah. He was like, so how come I got so popular at the end of the show that nobody knew me at the beginning, like the beginning of the show? Yeah. And I was just laughing. I was like, I get that a lot of times, a lot of times. That in the show, that the only person they knew was White Money and Lee Conroe, White yeah. Money, that they didn't see me at the beginning of the show. That it was at the end, like, towards the towards end, end of the show, show, that everybody now knew who I truly was. Yeah. So I was not laughing. I was like, and I get that a lot of times. So in my mind, I always think, what really did happen that made that a situation that people already really noticed me? towards the end of the show that, that there's a guy called Crow before. So I got to realize that, huh? Because honestly, the kind of person I am is that when I come into a place, right? Yeah. I always want to study and get to know people around me. I've lived in so many countries. I've lived with so many people. I've lived with so many people. I've lived in Kano, I've lived in Anambra, I've lived in Imo, I've lived in England, I've yeah, lived in... Perceive. Due to life, wow, <laughs> Wales, Scotland, Birmingham, I see it. Oh, mm -hmm. these are places I've oh, lived wow. like I, at least six months or one year in these places. Yes, Essex, all my life, and this thing I lived with people, lived with people all yeah. through these things. Do you understand? Places yeah. I've lived in, so meaning that I, I have communicated, I've interacted with people, I've lived with people, I've been with people's space. Yes, so I've lived with people that have different religion, different beliefs, different yeah. rights, different mindset, different exactly. thinking. So, and I've coexisted with them every time throughout my lifetime. Do you understand? Yeah, so, do you understand? Yeah. So now being in a space with new set of people again, it's more or less like, okay, what do I do when you come to a new space, when you're meeting a new person for the first, first time, time, you don't even know anything about the person. What do you do? You start to understand the person. Yes, yes. You start to read the person, get to understand the kind of person the person is, the ideology, what takes the person. Yes, so you cool. know that you don't come into the person's space and the person will get angry. Or you know the time to come out of the person's space. You have to start studying all these things. Mm -hmm. So that's what I started doing for the few weeks yeah. in the house. Luckily for me, I don't know how come I kept on staying, stay. So that's what I started doing the first few weeks in the house. So by the time I now studied everybody to understand people now, that's why, if you notice it now, there's something that I also noticed. There's a record that we have, me and Tasha have in similar, that nobody in Big Brother ever have in history till today. Was that? Always nominated? Tasha was the only housemate that got nominated throughout the whole history, from the beginning <laughs> week to the end. Mm. Every week she was nominated and that, and throughout. That, that sort of makes you strong. Yeah. And me, because, I'm the only housemate yeah. that never got nominated throughout the whole Big Brother history. How did she do it and how did I do it? They get to understand two characters. She went throughout the whole week. Every week she got nominated. Every week. But me, throughout, I only got replaced. But I never got nominated yeah. once. I'm the only housemate in the whole of Big Brother history that I've yeah. gone. So you get to understand, like, you know, things you know, in life that will make you understand what and what you want to achieve 
and what you want to achieve when you want to be satisfied in life. Yeah. We have things in life we want to achieve. We keep growing yeah. in life. We keep and as achieving well, things. Watching the show from outside, you notice that, and even being someone that's been on the show sure. as well, when there are 20 people in the house, it's very hard for personalities to shine. Exactly. Because yeah. everyone is, you know, loud and whatnot. So yeah. it's very, very difficult initially. So it's when the crowd starts thinning, that's when personalities now sort of stand out. Yeah. You get. But as well, I know definitely being nominated from the get-go helps. If you're saved the first week, it, there's every possibility you'll be saved, the next, saved week. next week. Because people will want to have a reason to it's save you. Yeah. put you the next yeah. week. Yeah, uh, why are they nominating this guy? I want to save him. So if that's why they yeah. say sometimes it's always good that when you go into the house, try and get nominated yes. so that and you and you get saved yeah. so that you have a you have a strong, a strong fan, fan base, base yes. that will be able to push you because big brother yeah. i would like to you as much as everyone keeps saying this thing yeah. this shit is the biggest shit in africa yeah, i'm so big, sorry to it's say it's the biggest show it's the biggest show in africa With numbers yes the numbers the is incredible and do you know the things i know people always say that this like when you come out the gift all this thing the money all this thing is fake is audio mm. ah yeah I'm sorry to say it's not, bro. It's not. No, a lot of a lot it's of, real. A lot of it's real. It, it came to me. I was going to you. It, it, it came to me, and I know some what some of my other parents get. I did not even get half of what I if if I tell you what some people, what some people got. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> they're like yo. No, listen. No, the I don't is, know how they do this Big Brother thing. Whether it's see, a, of, of I don't course. know how they now do it. Now the show is a lot bigger. Yeah. It's, it's something so else. I there are a lot of you. more fanatics. So it's and deep. It's yes, crazy. There are a lot of more fanatics. It's, it's insane. I, see, there were there, there are people that I went to meet after the show that I don't think in <coughs> actual sense of life I would have ever met, met them. them yeah. You know, billionaires, people that <laughs> I would not say they own this country, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's it's really really deep in that in that aspect, aspect. and it has only grown. It has only been yeah. More, I, I, been I just more imagine what it will be in the next five years, or imagine when they decide to do all stars. Yeah, what will now happen? Like, are they going to literally take over the whole world? <laughs> because it's li like if you look at the trend on Twitter on the numbers, you see how. You, someone will be trying for 500 and something K tweet. What are you people talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't you have things to do? <laughs> hey. No, but it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, now. It's, crazy. it's crazy. It's crazy. It's, it's ridiculous. But yeah. Poco. We're at it, yeah. Yes, the yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. guys, you already know. It's still Cloud Viral. Yeah. Poco Lee in the house. I got my bosses, Leo, the CEO. Jeez. Crux, the boss. So, on to the next one. Yeah. Big Leo, Big Crux. Yeah. So, um, without going to Big Brother, do you think you would have gotten to this height? Definitely not. No. <laughs> this fast, not. This fast? Of course not. Are you kidding me? So let's, let's, let's even put it last. This fast or this slow. Do you, uh, do you ever think you got you get to this point you are in life now? So Okay, it depends on what I eventually decide to take play in life. If I decide to be just a simple businessman, just yeah. making my money, of course not. If I decide to be a simple businessman that goes into entertainment, that makes it entertainment, that has so much noise and so much decide to make noise and be in everybody's faces, yeah. perhaps, which might take a longer Long time, time yeah, yeah, of yeah. maybe 5, 10, 15 years yes. to time. <laughs> but this one is, I went into a door, a door, yeah. a fucking door. Three fucking months later, I came out of that door and boom. Yeah. On our faces. <laughs> <Boom. laughs> so, cool. which one would you want to do? I mean, I feel like eventually, yes, I, I would have because, um, as people already know, I'm, I'm inclined to be governor of this Lagos. So, like, yes, I we are behind I, you. I knew eventually I would have. Yeah. You know, um, it's it's it was just because well, my mom has always told me that I would have, and I always knew. I, I saw the signs. You remember in Jan, I used to do parties. Yeah. So it's not like um, clout is anything new to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I I successfully was running um, one of the biggest event promotions in England at the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I expanded it to America as well at the time. So I had some level of clout where there were things at my disposal mm -hmm. that I at my disposal now, but I know how to manage them a lot more now because it's bigger. And I had experience as well. You know, so I, I feel eventually, eventually, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in everyone's face, yes, I feel you. but 
you just know me. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. just know me. Yeah. You just know yeah. me. Yeah. 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 yeah, definitely. No, of course, it depends on, as I said, it depends on how big your dreams are. Yeah. You would not eventually get to. Look at Poco. Come mm -hmm. on. Five, ten years no, ago. No, but like... Ten years ago, I'm sure. Like, oh, we, 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 we Poco. We Poco, yeah, Poco, yeah, Poco, 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 not dancer. Yes, no. So I remember when... It, I it's, it's, just, Poco. it's just Like, the first time I saw Poco in my whole life yeah. was on Instagram. On... Is it Insta blog or a blog? He was dancing on the street. Mm -hmm. And everybody was talking about him. Poco, Poco, yeah. Lee, Poco. The first time... Because me, I'm not an Instagram person. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, my friend, I am not a social media person. I, I am a I Snapchat person. Mm -hmm. So throughout my existence, yeah. I'm always outside yeah. having fun. So back in my day, I go club Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh -huh. That is what I do. Damn, right? lifestyle. Yeah. yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> we are outside. Do. Yeah, that's yeah. what I used to do before. So when I wake up, I'll go to work. Then my work from there, go to uh, go and look for government contracts. Then from there, enter restaurants in the night. Then in the evening. Will now go out and look for where to go out. That's what mm -hmm. every time I was doing. Yeah. Do you understand? So now my life now, I already know what I used to do. So Snapchat, Snapchat. So I didn't care about Instagram. Mm. So now one day they tell I open Instagram. I said, okay, let's open, we'll open share. So I just, <laughs> just be following few friends here and there. Yeah. All of a sudden, I just saw one guy dancing on Instagram. Yeah. You know, there, there's been and there's been it's just there's on. been Kafi before you. Yeah. And. The thing is, people always felt like the dancing industry was yeah. never going to evolve past her. Yeah. There were still other small, you know, skilled yeah. dancers that yeah. came from her yeah. as well. I remembered some some girls, some of them are abroad now and whatnot. But when you came, when Poco came, yeah. it was sort of different. And you know, legwork was always raining at yeah, that, that time. time. Yeah. So he sort Crush. of popularized it. I like, you don't understand. Yeah. Cross, let's leave Foucault. No, no, it was very, no, it was interesting. No, it was very interesting. No, yeah, we'll leave him. We'll leave him eventually no, where he is. No, but it's good to talk but about your growth talk about as well. Growth. Because people talk about don't really talk about it. And yeah. it's unfortunate because I will tell you for a fact because I'm not a social media person. Yeah. So I came in and I saw somebody just one light skin guy that dances <laughs> and all of a sudden every time he was on there he was just there he was just there and he just kept on getting there and yeah. there and there and he just kept on there and before you know he became poco me <laughs> and he's poco but it just it just shows how consistent consistency is helps. key and he's one of the person that I have seen okay. that have gone. Yeah. No, I have seen. I have Cross. saw the first. Cross, time. Let's continue. Let's continue. Well, it was fun. Let's show. It was fun seeing it. Let's continue. Because no, I saw it. I yes. can definitely <laughs> tell my child that I saw it. Happen. I saw. I saw yeah, it happen. Yeah, yeah. I, I was there. there. I was yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm there. Yeah. I'm there. Yeah. 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 So it's trusting, but it's a fun. Like it happened over time. Yeah. 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 We went into a door. Three months, it came out. Yeah. But your own. But bro, bro. Before it got to yes. your, before the show became as popular as you, yeah, you had to be consistent. Yes, of course. You know, for you to stay relevant. Of course. How many people from like Bisola sets do you remember right true, now? True. So true. It, it takes a lot of like energy. Energy, yeah. of course. As I've been. But now people are entering the house three weeks, three weeks. So yes. they're getting three hundred and fifty k followers, four hundred k followers. Yeah, you don't yeah, need right. to do too much, much. anymore. Yeah, yeah. Now right. the show is bigger big, than yeah, life itself. Yeah, our really life. yeah it's evolved. Yeah. So our life, yeah, more or less like it is evolved yeah. because now what these numbers are doing now, it's it's even more insane. Mm -hmm. And the twist around the whole thing now is even making people are like just looking at it and like, okay, what is really, really, really fuck is going on? So right you here? know the thing so, is, like what you were saying that you were not popular initially. This, we were the people that were shouting about you outside. There is always. A narrative that Big Brother has to follow. Yeah. If the viewers want to see white money, it's mm -hmm. white money. They will be showing a lot, yeah. not you. You know that is just how production works well, everywhere. Apparently, yeah. you yeah. look at um, Stranger Things. The fans go crazy about Dustin. What do they do? They give the guy Dustin, more more, more lines. Line. They give him more screen time. Yeah, true. That's just how how movie or because production they're the ones is. that are making the yes. wave. Yeah, That's yeah, just right. how production is. Um, you're making wave. You get more endorsements. People True. are seeing you everywhere. You get more endorsements. You get more um, people that want to work with well, you. Yeah, you exactly. know, that's just how it is. So by the time, you know, now, it's no more about cameras. Yeah. So you see it's that even, even if you were very popular, you won the show, you notice that over time, people that have been more consistent from your show yeah. came out three weeks, four weeks, now overtake you. 
you know, because sure. they are more consistent. You, after that, you just rested on your laurels, and that was it. Yeah, true. true. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, right, so right. 100%. Assess yourself, big brother, after you've done four years like me. <laughs> That's why I tell everyone that comes out of the house, I say, assess yourself after three years. Forget about big brother yeah. fans, like the fans that you think you have. Yeah. What you need to have are loyal people that support your brand. Yeah. Because Big Brother fans will go back to the platform. Of course. And pick another yeah, fave. Yeah, stand someone else. Yeah, and pick another fave. Yeah. I have this woman that is my fan. Like, like she's elderly and whatnot. She started by standing tire. Now she's onto her. Um, she was. Yeah, like you know she. Yeah, that's what that's what I needed. Even everyone in the world to know if even eventually if anybody w that is not really a Big Brother fan to s watch yeah. this watches this. So, Big Brother, right? Yeah. It's a big franchise, right? <coughs> but the fans here yeah, are 80% to 70 to 80% the fans of the show. Yeah. yeah. The remaining 20% to 25% are the ones that just naturally fall in love with you as a yeah. person yeah. and are ready to support you in everything you do. Yeah. Yes. So, the noise, the real big noise and everything belong really to the Big Brother fans. Yeah. But those ones have belonged to the show. So that's what you see on Twitter. Now, when you go back, everybody that have stand you before, you see sometimes you, they will change back to the new, new, new yes. people coming. Yeah. And you see their signs. They have the sign. Maybe they are, because they belong to maybe, they belong to Tasha, they belong mm -hmm. to Erica, they belong to Nico Rose. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a trend. Because mm -hmm. it's everybody still defined. So it's not new people. Because think about it. New, new set is coming. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. where are the new people coming from? Are you coming? Are you born overnight? Or are you coming from dead? It's the same set of people that voted and supported the last previous, previous one. Yeah. But the new, new, new fans come up. Yes, new fans come in. So one thing I can new fans no, come one in thing I can understand yeah. about from my set was Double Wahala was so huge that people were regretting they did not watch it earlier. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. When all of the rockers was going on like ah this person, that person, that person, a lot of people were hearing about it and they were now regretting that ah, why didn't I start? So when the second one after us came, mm -hmm. yeah people started from beginning. beginning. It was now bigger than ours because people already didn't want to be left yeah, behind. Yeah. So more fans, I remember uh, there was, um, there were guys, in fact, men that I knew that, I have an Arsenal group, over 300 people. Yeah. They were men that were already tweeting with their wives that, yo, Alpha or not, they watch this big brother. These were people that the previous year, they would never tweet, they would never message Which that is. in the group chat. Yeah. You know, so just the popularity of the last one, Brings more fans. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I feel. That's what yes, like that's this. how it is, and it keeps getting bigger. It keeps yeah. get, exactly. And bigger and the bigger and domino bigger. effect is crazy. It's crazy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's now, pretty that, much that, it. That will be the most talked about. Bigger. This yes. set now will be the most talked yes. about. Yes. Now. Like and they have two yeah. channels. And they have two channels now. So with the two channels, what it does is you they don't need to cramp up content of what people want. If is what you want, Abi, they put it on one channel. Then whatever is they want to show, yeah. they put on the second yeah. channel. It balances out. It's going. Yo, still on Cloud Viral. So, Crux, I have a personal question for you. Okay. <laughs> so, people have been saying you got a lot of concubines. I need to know how true is that. <laughs> <laughs> concubines, relax now. <laughs> so cool. they are, I'm not the one. Fans, you know, these people, they are always, always doing this rubbish now. Like, is it rubbish? Can, concubines, no, I have. Friends, that's all. Oh, we all have friends. Yeah, exactly. You, you have friends now. But it's only young man that is not pretty much doesn't have friends. But you, you have friends. We all have friends. Female exactly. friends, female friends. Female friends. friends. That's I, have, I have friends. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, we all yeah, have, yeah, have friends. You do. You so have friends. I'm talking about people. concubines. <laughs> concubines. Yeah, how do you how do you deal with them? Concubines. Okay. As much as which kind of concubine is it? King Solomon kind of concubine. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know. No, you they agree that you they agree the concubine. kind of concubine. <laughs> Because it was kind of go, oh, yeah. okay, they're all doing very fine. They're all oh, doing yeah? very well. Yeah, they're everywhere. They're all mm. doing they're perfectly well. No yeah. fights, no one so is complaining. Nobody, nobody You're nobody giving them at the right time. Right time. Yeah, yeah, everyone just is going. perfectly doing oh, very cool. well. So, yeah. Leo, yeah. you seen someone? Yeah, I'm, I'm presently engaged. Oh. Interesting. Where are you? Me? Stay street. I be like you now. No, no. I stay in the street. I be like you now. Stay in the package. I don't reserve. Oh, you don't reserve. Congrats, brother. Thanks, bro. Yes, congratulations. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I'm super proud of you. No, I'm behind you. Don't worry. Just give me a few more months. Yeah, I know they rush you. Do your thing. Yeah, yeah. You say we do your thing. I'm behind you. Yeah, I'm behind you. Don't worry. I'm behind you. You don't do your own thing, then. Yeah, bro. I've um. 
So you you get to you get to a level when you want to chase the next thing in your destiny. Yeah. And you just need your person next to you to do yeah. that. That's it's just as simple as it is. Mad. You know, it's um, no man is an island. Definitely. Like, I always tell people, people will be like, how come you don't smoke? How come you don't drink? I have my reasons. We yeah, understand though. Things. Yeah. So I have you my don't reasons. Drink, you don't smoke. Nah. Yeah. I have my reasons. I know you don't smoke. I know you're that good. <laughs> I, know, I didn't know you didn't drink. I used, to, I used to drink when we were in Jan. Yeah. You know, 20, I stopped drinking in 2012. <laughs> and that was because I had health issues. Yeah, sorry. So, of course, I had to remove that from my life. Then, um, with other things, you want to get to a, a whole new level. And I've always had serious relationships in my life. Yeah. It was just when I had like a very bad relationship that I decided to stay single for seven years. When I got wow. stabbed in my relationship, you know, so I had like PTSD Whoa. at the time. So when women are, in, in, if a babe just started to like me, I go run. Are you serious? Because I don't know whether or not tomorrow she go decide to stab me. When you go through stuff. Well, what causes like, the obsession or what? Uh, okay, so this was an obsession. I just, I don't want to call someone crazy, but um, the story was really, really funny because we're just, you know, chilling and, um, this person brings a message that I sent before I even knew her. Yeah. And she's like, you've been pretending to me. Imagine, before I knew you, yeah, yeah. I did toast one babe. You can't bring up the message, see, you've been pretending, blah, 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 blah. So me, I'm even taking this thing serious. Then I, this person had all of my passwords. So I collect the phone because me, I know, as I'm a boy, mm. I never fuck up. Yeah. But <laughs> make I just see, see make I see the soft. proof. I can't see him, I say, ah. Guy, this message now message, you look the date it's before I know you. She said, Yeah, but that means you've been pretending to me to be a good guy yeah. and blah blah blah. So I'm just like, I kept quiet and I'm like, Yo, you're crazy. She's like, Oh, I'm crazy. You're gonna see crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna see crazy. <laughs> you're gonna see crazy. <laughs> and she goes to the kitchen, Dang. gets a knife, bro. I did, I did. Back. I was bleeding. It was jammed. This was jammed. It was crazy. It was wild for me. So after that happened, I was like, you know what? We women. Then I now met one other girl afterwards, yeah. like a year later. I went for acting school in, in England, in London, class act. Okay. So during the acting school, I met one chick. That one now drugged me. Hey, wahala. <laughs> uh, literally, yes, bro. She drugged me. Did stuff for me without my consent. I'm not even kidding. Then she didn't allow me leave. She said if I leave, she would tell the police I raped her. Damn. Okay, and this yeah. is this is this yeah. is the UK. Then yeah. what happens, true, let me true, tell you. Yeah. Let me yeah, tell you. The, happens, let me tell you the yeah. truth about the UK. <laughs> <laughs> if a babe tells the police that yeah. you raped yeah. her, yeah, that's it. Police will first lock you up. Yes. First. While they are first, first, first for investigation. While they are mm -hmm. investigating. Mm -hmm. Especially if you just be normal or my boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I already knew what, what this was, what was going on. So I had to just play the game till I left that place. And people will talk about, ah, while I was in Jan, I just, I went from being one of the most popular promoters. Like I was doing club parties. My birthday party was my 18th. I did it at Governor Bar. Man, that was no. the biggest club oh, at the time. time. Yeah, Governor Bar. You know, yeah. Governor Bar. I did it at Governor Bar. I think so I was there, sir. I think Akeem I came. was there. I think you yeah, came. came. Yeah. yeah. So like, I was popping. So I went from that to just focusing on my engineering degree, then starting my PhD. Yeah. So imagine the contrast. But people didn't understand that it was what I what happened to me that made me just go low key. I changed my friends. I knew that I'd be like say Una the me with this kind of babes where they meet. Yeah. So Una no go they see me again. So I changed my friends. It was just like people that were in my class engineering that were yes. seeing me and I was very lucky. I stopped doing parties, I stopped going out. Wow. Last going out I went to was like three years later. After I finished my exams, I went for a house party. That was it. Well, so nothing happened then though. What? Nothing happened in the house party. No, 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 nothing happened. No. <laughs> <laughs> so God. yeah, so that was just it for me. That was why I came back to Nigeria. I was very, very, very careful. Yes. You know, and people would be like, ah, this person likes you. How can I don't care if somebody likes me. It's none of my concern. I have to know you first, especially from my experiences. Mm -hmm. You know, you I, I can't know you 
from a place that I don't even know you very well. It's just then unfortunate. Yes. Like yeah. I think similar. Like what happens is that you met like wrong wrong people because unfortunate. Like you're right. We guys sometimes we we are bad to an extent. Yeah, it depends. And the same thing, girls too. And, and I know it's a woman's world, but they look they look at guys and say guys have to be strong, have to be masculine yeah. about it. But yeah, men go through a lot of shit sometimes, of course, as yeah. much as women do. So there's some women that go through so much shit. And unfortunately, you met like two or three of them that were bad, that you know were quite possessive and have you know different understanding about love or care or friendship or whatever yeah. it is. Do you understand? And that really, really like messed with you, and it's very, very unfortunate. Yeah, it, Do you it, understand? Really, it really, really messed with me because it messed with the way I socialize. Yeah, of course, it really, with me, I'm, I'm always like really, really guarded. Yeah, the people that knew me years in, in school now. Yeah, yeah, because in school, school I was now. very free yes, spirited. Now. You know, in now. school, every I did rap, I did yes, dance, now. everything now, hundred percent now, hundred like, percent. Yeah. Everybody knew yeah. me, yeah. Rainbow. Yes, now everybody that knew that silver now. Yes. that was the number one English name now because. Everyone was having a kid you Amaka, Gata, all these all these strong drawing yeah. boy, yeah. Yoruba names yeah. and yeah and yeah uh, Musa. <laughs> you see Leo Silva. So yeah, he was very popular. Yeah, yeah. He was very popular in school as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. uh, even in England as well. So yeah. yeah, I can definitely relate. And it's unfortunate that, that happened to you. No, but, but I, it, I, I don't And I don't at don't the end of the day, hold on. Yeah. At the end of the day, sometimes you know in life. Things happen for a reason. For a reason like, yeah. Do you understand? Things happen for a certain yeah. reason. Because that's what you know destiny sometimes play into our role. We have to go through some certain things in life to amount to where we have to be in life. Yeah. Of course. It, it, of course. it just takes that sometimes the, di the, the dynamo or the play that happens can be quite you know, sad or very you know deep mm -hmm. that will make us have to now uh, divert or form a new alliance into yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, Do yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm. Because me particularly, I won't lie to you, I regret the fact that I have to lose I had to like lose my dad. I wish my dad was alive. Yeah. But guess what? If my dad was alive, I would not have been the kind of person I would have amount to be today. Yeah. yeah. Trust me, I know how my dad was. Trust me, I know how it would have been. It would have been a very interesting playing role, but mm. I promise you, my life wouldn't have been at what I wanted to be. So do you understand how losing someone that you really, really care yeah, about? Yeah, I've lost my mom. I've lost my dad. Exactly. So, yeah, I'm sorry about you that. You know, yeah, thanks. So, so that I, I understand loss very, plays very a major well. role. So I think what you did, what you went through, yeah. played a major role to come out to the person you have yeah. turned out to be. Of because course. Of course. God knows that. Who knows? You would have met another third person or fourth person. You would have met another third person or fourth person. And that person would now like, maybe you'll finally yeah. cross that boss ministry. It's no, true but, but, but it's, it's, it's true because... It's true now, but maybe you finally... So they that, stab you, they drug you. The other one now... I was, I was really, really into off. nightlife. Yeah. And this was me. I was already planning on building my own club and all of that kind of stuff. But all of those experiences made me hate nightlife. So my, my company in the US... We went from doing nightlife parties to booking American yeah. artists. So you see, like festivals in America, yeah. sometimes we are contracted to book with Khalifa, book Drake, book all of that, and we have our commissions, you know, sure. and all those kind of stuff. That was what I was doing then. I just decided to focus on business, purely leave nightlife alone. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And for me, I feel that is why I'm where I am right now. And there is just so, so, so much to come for me. So, so much, like, bro, like, I've not even scratched the surface. This is not even about money, you know. We, all the things that I already do, it's, it's about taking my people to the next level. And when I say my people, it's not just Nigerians, you know, my people in general, right. you know, to the next level. And we're going to get there. Of course, definitely. Well, best of luck, man. Yeah. Cheers. Blessings, my brothers. So, guys, still on Clap Viral with Pokoli. I got Leo the Silva in the house, cross the bus, man. It's been an amazing time, trust me. Yep. And right about now, it's game time. Let's get ah, into it. Game <laughs> time, game time, game time. Yeah. No, I just turned 30. I, I know Sabi play games. No, no, no. Play a nice <laughs> game. Okay. Cloud Viral, Pokoli, guys. I got Leo the Silva in the house, cross the bus. And it's game time. time. So. Game time. Okay. Never have I had sex with my ex. I'm a virgin, bro. <laughs> <laughs> With all the explanations, nah. <laughs> uh, uh, you have. 
He said he's a virgin. No, 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 no. Yeah, we know, we know what he means. Okay. Um. Uh huh. Uh huh. You got concubines, so definitely. Yeah. If I sell your ex, right, so cool. cool. Never ever missed a flight. <laughs> ah, I don't miss it. Too much, yeah. Oof. It costs another thing. You guys refund or you miss Actually, it. I've missed in my life just two. Oh. No way. Just two, yeah. If I tell you that, I cannot keep track of how many flights I've missed. Yeah. I I used to oh, actually, I've missed just one. I missed. The, the first one, they hold the counter for me. Where they go, Kenya? I remember. I've missed over 50 flights. Where yeah. Over, I think, maybe even more than 100. Like, uh, you, you didn't sleep me. Yeah. Damn. So, like, my one is like, it's always, always silly, silly mistake. Because sometimes, before you get to the airport, a road will be free. But when you just get to that long road, the traffic now is yeah, right there. Just delay you and all that stuff like you. that. And the funny thing is that in Abuja, there's no Okada. Mm. In that road. So in Lagos, it's easy. Once there's traffic, you can bust Okada and just enter and start yeah. running. But in Lagos, in Abuja, it's so unfortunate that you cannot use Okada. You have to wait. You have to drive it. Yeah, drive it until you get to the airport. Mm. And by then, the plane has gone and you'll be like, <sighs> Sorry, bye bye. Yeah, so <laughs> Until so the next sad. one. So Never have I been on a blind date. Hmm. Will I say blind dates? Hmm. What 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 do you call it when your friends just want to hook you up with somebody but they don't tell you? Is it a blind date? Yes. Yeah, it is still. It is okay. Yes, it is. I'm sorry. He's used to all these things. You have. Uh, I have. I have. My Especially I during my seven year hate. Yeah. Sorry. People were trying. <laughs> <laughs> trying to hook me up. It was crazy. Okay, let's go. And to the next one. Never have I had a one night stand. <laughs> Cross, why are you looking at me? <laughs> you have, definitely. <laughs> Same. Never, never. Never. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't understand. Don't <laughs> you <laughs> don't understand. Come on, be free now. Yes, I understand you. I understand you. You say you have never had this. <laughs> <laughs> this one is this one is. You deep. don't turn up to French. <laughs> this, one, this one is deep. <laughs> never have I used someone else's toothbrush. Don't touch that one. 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 Don't touch that Okay. Never have I kissed more than one person in 24 hours. I carry my hustle for my, my shoulder. Only one jacket. I have a one man soldier. You have. I carry him. Yeah, you have. Sure. Okay. You say you carry your own, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I carry my own. <laughs> this is carry your own. Who am I not to carry my own? Oh, uh, this one is. This one is. This one is kind of. Let me just say, kind of crazy. The next question. The next games. Yeah. Okay, and uh, please. Let's ha we have to do it. We have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> the first one is <laughs> sound like a cow. Down a cow, we don't chop. <laughs> chop <laughs> <laughs> Cross will never chop. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. This one is really funny. Sound like a goat. Cross. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> this is your goat. I want to never chop, baby. Just be weak. <laughs> Oh boy! Mm. <laughs> See, you <laughs> can't get with this one. Don't tell us anymore. Kilo, we got a half an hour. Kilo, shall I? Go, go. Let's ah. go. Ah, nah! <laughs> nah! <laughs> nah, nah, boy, yeah, but man. Nah. I've said it to me. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> a cat. Ha! A cat. I don't know how the cat sounds. Yeah. Oh, okay. Meow. Yeah. No, no, cross it from this thing now. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ni Nigerian cats. They're different from foreign cats. Yeah, from foreign you know, yeah, cats. So, yeah, so, 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 I did haul my neighbor. One day I did haul my housemate, my neighbor. Mm. Mm. My mother, the next one. She gets so many cats. God, she freaked me out every time. I think I don't know why I have 40 cats in her house. Why? And the two will not be entering our, you not be entering our backyard, coming through. And I'll be like, Mama, come carry your cats. <laughs> <laughs> Think it in a way. I hate any shit. Here. So yeah. the thing always sound. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Man's best friend. Cows. 
Hey, Doug. Uh, fuck, I can, I can, I can, I can live. I can live. <laughs> so now, nah, so my my <laughs> love brother. Now, all like, like Resident Evil, no for the, ah, the last Resident one. Resident Evil, dog. Our alarm. Eh? Which alarm? Kela alarm in our car. A hen. Helm. A hen. A hen. I like this now. Okay, foul. Oh, foul. Now you've landed. Mm. Hey, foul. It's mm. a foul. <laughs> <laughs> the sound. The sound. Okay. Kokoroko! 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 So, guys, that's it. Clap and fire with Pokoli. Amazing time with my big brothers and SBB Ninja housemates. Leo da Silva, Christ the boss, man. Let's get it. Nice having you guys. God bless you, my brothers. Thank you so, so Thank much. Thank you. legit, bro. <laughs> Peace out, my people. God bless you. Love. Thank you.